Hello guys, Sheriff Butler. Welcome back to the channel. And right before we get into this video, I just want to state clearly that this video is not monetized. There's no ad, no, there's no ads on this. Um, usually I'll make like 50 cents to a dollar on each video. Um, the topic of this video is not even worth like, you know, it's not even worth making one cent off of it. Um, so therefore, it's not going to be it's not going to be monetized and later in the video when we get to when we get to it you will understand um but this is going to be a angel bricks uh false from yager wave 2 unboxing and a commission unboxing uh, and as you can as you can clearly see here i already opened the box because uh, i got it this morning before i went to school uh, i just wanted to see the figs specifically the commission um i saw it it was I'll tell you my thoughts about it later. Um, but yeah, my, my reaction won't be 100% uh, genuine. Uh, but yeah, here's all the commission figs. And I'll show those later. Not gonna show, not gonna show those right now. Um, but here's everything I got. Yep, there's nothing in there. Um, and let me just go ahead and take these guys out all right welcome back so here's everything i got uh, i just got two heads um nothing too special but i think they're pretty cool uh next up i got a soviet ppsh another one because you always just need uh, more soviets and their winter soviets are just super super nice uh so when they released uh, fj's uh wave two i just picked up you know, another one, because why not? Uh, so here's the first new Falschermjager. And I got to say, this one is really cool. Uh, he actually has a pocket grenade. And you can kind of see the, the crease in the pants there of the stick, which is really cool. It's just a really cool uh, niche detail. Um, and also, these guys have bags on them. I'm not entirely sure what this bag is, but... Wow, that is like crazy detailed. What the heck? Wow, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, these guys are all co color shifted. They're on a light bluish gray. Um, but the color shift is absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, I like to call this the pocket grenade guy. Probably my favorite body of this release. Uh, next up is just a standard uh, pistol with MP40 pouch. Um, nothing too special, just a slightly different loadout, really. And then next up here is a bandolier with a grenade and the uh, the satchel thing. I'm not sure what to call this, uh, but yeah, it's super cool. And by the way, this uh, Falsham Yager release, uh, Wave 1, Wave Wave 2, was overall pretty legendary. Um, a lot of people bought Angel Bricks for the first time. And I gotta say, like, what a, what a banger release. This one is gonna definitely be one of the better ones overall in the LEGO World War II community. And the last one here is just a basic uh, regular Car 98 pouches. Uh, with this bag thing, which I'm still not entirely sure what it is. Um, but yeah, just really cool. Nothing too much to say about this guy. Uh, by the way, all these guys have a 360 degree printing. And let's go on to the hot potato of this video. And probably the main reason why people are even watching this. Um, so I did my first, actually this is my, uh, second commission with Angel Bricks. Um, this was done with, like, four other people? Yeah, this was done with, uh, four other people. Um, there's only four figs in the set, and there were, uh, four sets made, so there's four figs each ever made. So only four of these guys, only four of these guys, and I actually have them all right here, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and ship those out tomorrow uh, to my commission mates. Um, but you may be asking, 
if you don't if you don't know these figs, you may be asking, uh, Jerry Butler, why why did you have to demonetize a video? Well, good question. Uh, this is the, this is um, not not this guy. This night that guy is not part of the unit, but he's real he's really bad. I'll talk about him later. Um, these three guys right here are all uh, Der Le Vonger. Hopefully, I said that correctly. Or um, the, I guess the easier way is the 36th uh, Electrician Div Division, although they were only a division for a very short period of time. Uh, they were a, a brigade mostly um, throughout their history. Um, and this is probably the worst unit of World War II, um, although you could argue... The Japanese Unit 731 was uh, probably worse, um, if we're just strictly kind of looking at unit formations. Um, but Unit 731 wasn't a, really a combat unit or anti-partisan unit. Um, but I'll just call these guys the 36th. The 36th was originally kind of a rear echelon unit. Uh, they were anti-partisan um, and they just did like rear, rear security duties, um, and I know that's a very light way of putting it. Uh, they did a ton of war crimes. Um, they're very notorious in Belarus, um, and especially in Warsaw in the Warsaw Uprising, just absolutely horrible. They just absolute disgusting brutality, um, and it's a very touchy subject, and it's just absolutely horrible. Um, and if you if you want to know more about them, I encourage you to look them up. Not because there's some sick fantasy, but it's because it's important to know these things. Because we don't want to repeat history. Um, you can look up Mark Mark Felton's video. Uh, he kind of gives like a good uh, overview of the unit, uh, brief unit history. Um, so yeah, these guys are basically uh, like anti-partisan. Up until late 44, late 44, they put down the uh, Slovak National Uprising. And then after that, they were uh, repurposed into a frontline combat unit. And then they were just a regular frontline combat unit until the end of the war in uh, 1945. And at the end of the war, the division, which wasn't really a, divi a division, it only reached like 4,000 men. Um, it was just absolutely decimated. Uh, just destroyed in combat by the Soviets. Um, and what's really weird about the unit in 1945 is that it had regular army units, uh, here units, attached to the division. So you can kind of do, like, if you had these figs, um, you can kind of do like a weird uh, mock where you can have like these guys uh, next to um, like here units. Um, and yeah, just, you know, it's the end of the war. It's just really, really wacky stuff that's going on. Um, and also I'm, this is going to be another hard thing to talk about. You may be asking, Jay Butler, why do you own these figs? Why do these figs even exist? Well, it's a very complex answer. Maybe not very, but it is a complex answer because this top, this topic is so freaking touchy and rightfully so i i totally understand why um first of all i'm not extremist i'm not a nazi um and i think using accusations like that you need to be very careful because those are very strong and if you just go willy-nilly accusing everyone of being a nazi or extreme or anti-semitic the, the power of that of that accusation loses you know it loses power um, so I think it should be reserved for cases where it's like 100% apparent, you know, owning like a plastic minifig that represents a historical unit and then just calling like someone owns that and you just call them like, oh yeah, they're totally a Nazi. Like that's just so irresponsible. First of all, I'm, I hate talking about politics on this channel, but this is the one time I have to talk about politics. And sorry that this video might be so long. It just needs to be long so I can properly articulate my thoughts on this. Because this is just, the magnitude of this is so serious. 
Um, politically, I, in American politics at least, I identify as like center left. So in Europe, that would kind of just be in the center. Um, I'm definitely not a Nazi. I don't hate Jews. I don't hate any groups of people. I don't want to persecute any group of people. I'm pro. I'm pro choice. I'm pro trans rights. I'm. I'm just pro liberty. Um, I'm not like a total 100% libertarian or whatever. Uh, I know that has issues. Um, and if you talk to to the close people that I talk to on a regular basis in the community, you know, 100%, they can they can say bad things about me. I am kind of an asshole sometimes, but 100% they will say like I'm not a Nazi. Um, and what I like what I like to do is I'm basically everything World War II. That's like my whole shtick in 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 the hobby. I like to collect a lot of allies. I like to collect um, a lot of Germans. Uh, currently, I want to get into Japanese. Uh, I have a fair bit Italians, uh, but I really wish more Italians were made. Please make desert Italians. Um, but yeah, I just do everything World War II. Um, and of course, when you have a lot of figs, and especially a lot of German figs, you know, people, you will tend to have these people that just come along and throw the Nazi ac accusation at you. And what's kind of really ironic about that is that a lot of people that do that, they own, they own electrician figs themselves, or usually most of them only do modern stuff, and they like to really portray the, uh, the current Russo-Ukraine war and portrayed the Russians um, invading Ukraine, which that's just a whole illegal invasion. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I guess the German, yeah, the German invasion of Poland is also illegal. So not really, uh, I guess they're similar in that aspect. Um, but yeah, they like depicting very touchy subjects. They own many figs of a very touchy subject they own modern russian figs and i don't like to go up i don't like to go up to people and be like oh you're you're pro russia or oh you are nazi like i understand that there's in a hobby like this there is nuance you can own like very bad figs and and just have it just be it in the in the in the realm of of how should I put this? And in the realm of history, you know, these guys freaking existed and they are they are a unit. And I am a overall a general World War II collector. Um, so what do I do? Yeah, of course, I will go and collect these guys. And from that understanding, I don't like I don't I have never accused anyone of calling them like, oh, you're, you're a Nazi, or like, oh, you're pro-Russian and stuff. Except there, there is an exception. There is a few people in the community um, that are like legit, like uh, neo-Nazis. Um, for example, like there's this kid in Europe, and he said like, oh, Hitler, Hitler was good for Germany. And that right there, that is a huge flag. You know, just a huge, huge, excuse me, uh, excuse me. Um, that was just a huge flag. Um, and I think in that case, it is appropriate to 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 give them uh, you know a preemptive uh, accusation of being a neo neo Nazi, um, but yeah, basically if you're gonna get into Lego like World War II or Lego military, especially uh, Lego military history, you know you got to be prepared for this. You got to be prepared for people that are gonna that are gonna go up to you and just accuse you of being like an absolute horrible person. Even though you just happen to just be interested in a in a touchy subject, but you like to collect it, you like history. I like history. Doesn't mean I like the actions of these people. I don't advocate for national socialism. I don't advocate for authoritarianism. I don't advocate for anti-Semitism. I don't advocate for concentration camps. Um, but yeah, and also, um, I think I already mentioned this before, but everyone in this group, in this commission, uh, they're not Nazis, they're not extremists whatsoever. Um, we just all came together, and our general goals were 
number one, we wanted to do uh, Old Dark Grey. Uh, number two, we wanted to do like a pretty unique uh, uniform setup. And number three, we wanted to do a unit that has never been done before. And that's kind of what you do with commissions. With commissions, you take the opportunity to, to do new stuff. So, for example, you know, this is a whole new unit. Um, no, excuse me, sorry. And they have, uh, you know, pretty, pretty unique uniforms. And also, this commission was based uh, directly off of a concept. And I'll put it on the, I'll put it on the screen here somewhere. Um, but yeah, it was based directly off of a concept. Uh, this guy uh, was originally not supposed to be in the commission, but someone else uh, really wanted him to be in it. Uh, so this guy is uh, SD. He's like a electrician secret police, which is very bad in itself. And they did, you know, they basically uh, ran the whole electrician uh, intelligence and stuff. Um, basically, like, kind of coordinating and pinpointing where war crimes should happen and stuff. It's just, you know, very, very bad. Um, and, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I've... Oh, gosh, there's so much more I want to say. Um, and I probably should have written this down as a script. Um, but personally, my style, I like to just ramble and say everything that's on my mind. I just find that to be more genuine. Um, you know, my gosh, it's like 17, it says like 17 minutes on my camera now. Um, and I'm trying to think of anything else I should say. Um, no, I think, I think I've, I've made it pretty clear what my actual positions are and personally why I think it's okay for me to own this. I think an actual neo-Nazi, like owning these guys, like, no. No, definitely not. That's, like, really messed up. Um, and also, um, I'm not going to go out and and call people that assume that other people are new Nazis. I'm not going to go out and 100% call them dumb, but I would just ask that, please, be more careful with the accusations, because if you just accuse me of being a Nazi, then, like, what's next? Like, the freaking... 13 year old kid that owes like a TMC SS fig like no of course not the vast majority of the time they aren't a neo-nazi or anything but the majority of the time they are pretty dumb though so I'll, I'll give them that they are pretty dumb um I'm an adult by the way so I can make I think I'm pretty com uh, confident in my own decisions um and uh yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and look at these figs, because I have been rambling for far, far too long. Uh, so the first guy here that you saw in the concept, he's basically just a regular uh, Car 98 rifleman. Um, excuse me. Just nothing too special. Uh, the only notable thing is that he has, like, uh, dark tan pants, and also the, uh, the 36th uh, electrician... Uh, I guess, uh, collar tab or whatever. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, dark tan pants, old dark gray, and the, uh, special unit insignia. So, pretty cool. And I'm not, when I say cool, I don't mean the actual, like, actions of the unit. I just mean the overall design, because that was the goal of this commission, just to get like a unique unit in a, in a cool design. Um, and also I'd just like to point out that, um, this is not really breaking much precedence. The only precedence being broken here is this unit being created. And now this unit exists in Lego form. Um, but I would like to point out that the painter man or the, the mustache man, he was released as retail by TMC. Now, personally, I don't think that's bad, but, you know, the, the, that we have already crossed the bridge, let's say. Um, we have crossed the bridge there in terms of bad stuff being created. Uh, but next up here, this guy is just a, a NCO MP40 uh, based directly off of that concept art. 
Um, and I gotta say, this guy is probably my favorite design out of the four. Um, definitely looks pretty, uh, pretty badass. Um, he has a, uh, dark tan M44 top. Now, we have no evidence that this actual uniform existed for the specific unit, but there is evidence of dark tan M44 being tailored. Um, for example, there's like a picture of a, uh, a here dark tan M44 uniform being out there. Uh, so it's totally plausible that this, this uniform could exist. Um, cause troops did do that. They did, uh, custom tailor uniforms as crazy, as crazy as it sounds. Um, uh, but yeah, he has the old dark gray pants and that's pretty much it. Um, just a pretty cool combo and he's probably my favorite. All right. Next up here. Uh, this is the third one. Okay. So this one, uh, this one is probably the worst, uh, body out of the whole commission. Uh, it's not, it's not just because of the, the Asian peace symbol right there. Um, this body is based, is based, uh, directly off of the unit commander himself, uh, Oscar, uh, Derlevanger. Um, and if you look up his history, he's an absolutely horrible, disgusting person. Um, very disturbing. He, he basically essayed um a female minor um and yeah this is this is like why i'm not monetizing the video it, this is just so bad so so bad um but this is his i think this is his this his excuse me this is his um exact body how it should be um but yeah but absolutely disgusting um he was a part of the concept uh, so we just had him made as well. Um, and right now I don't have him, I don't have him made up. I just have like a generic head here. Uh, this is just like a random, uh, electrician kernel. Um, so this body doesn't have to be used, uh, as that specific person. Um, but personally, um, I'll just kind of use it as a generic commanding officer. Uh, next up here, uh, the last one is... The SD guy, um, he's a captain, I think that's captain, um, and that's pretty much it, he just has a bunch of stuff on him, um, I'm not too familiar with all these, uh, the person, the person that added this guy wanted all of this, so, uh, but I must say it is a pretty, pretty spicy body. Um, and also, if people are not familiar what Old Dark Grey is, here's a uh, dark bluish gray body. And when you put them side by side, you can see the difference. So, uh, Old Dark Grey is a bit darker, actually, and it looks more like proper gray. Uh, while the dark bluish gray, this is the, the new gray that LEGO makes, um, it looks more bluish. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what time are we at? Oh my gosh, 24 minutes. This is absolutely insane. Um, but, but yeah, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you found this commission, uh, I hope you found it disturbing, and I hope, I'm sure a lot of you found it very amusing. Um, excuse me. Um... But yeah, I don't think I'll make a video, I had like this video idea of just talking about like, you know, like what, what is, how do I, how do I phrase it, how do I phrase this, um, what is okay to collect, like I just had the, that video idea and I kind of pretty much uh, touched on it here, um, because this is literally like, you know, one of the worst figs you can ever make. Um, but for me, I will not be creating any war crimes, war crime mocks. Uh, that's just way too far for me. The only exception I find with that in creating or in depicting war crimes is if it's done very, uh, respectfully and tastefully, like you, you know, you give a lot of disclaimers and you just, 
And it's basically just showing history. If you do it in a way where it's just showing history and, and just making people aware of the horrible things that, that has happened, uh, then I think that's okay. But it's really tough to do that. Um, and, you know, of course, there is a few people in the freaking community that have done war crime, war crime mocks, and they haven't really done it in the most respectful way possible. Uh, so it's really disgusting. And personally, I have no interest in going there. I'm not. I'm not going to do. Sorry for laughing at this. I'm not going to do a Warsaw uprising mock. Um, I might. I might eventually, where it's just like the regular fighters, but I will not do any uh, civ civilian casualties or anything because that's just absolutely. That's just a big no. Um, but I will probably eventually use these guys for uh, like 1945. Uh, Eastern Front battles, um, which is what what these guys are kind of set up for, anyways. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a long a long ramble, uh, pretty deserved in my opinion. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I might, <laughs> if, if the comments get bad on this video, I might disable the comments, but I will I will keep them open initially and if people are pretty reasonable about it um then i'll i'll leave them open uh but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time Bye bye